Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Morning Coffee Talks. Cheers. Hope you guys had a great Christmas. Hope you guys are preparing for the new year. Get it started off right. But why wait for the new year when we can do it right now today? Because tomorrow ain't promised, gentlemen. All right, so if you're new on here, we do these morning coffee talks about once a week, usually. Um, I guess I'll start from the beginning over again. We're getting a lot of new people in here, which I appreciate. I appreciate all the love with these morning coffee talks, too. Um, but the whole reason we started this channel in the first place was because we got an epidemic on our hands, all right? And that is that we got a bunch of lost boys running around. Now, what do I mean by lost boys? Now, some of you guys are familiar with these terminology we use in here and whatnot, but um, purposeless men, that would be a lost boy. And that would not be a man is basically what we're saying. But that's where it all starts. And where it all really starts is at the beginning with Adam and Eve, with Adam being passive not doing his duty as a leader, protector, and provider because that's what a man is. And a true man is selfless. But it all started at the beginning with Adam and Eve when Adam didn't protect and provide for his wife, Eve. He was passive. Like we always say on here, he should have looked at the serpent, said no. God told us not to eat off that apple. He should have killed the motherfucker. And he should have said, baby, listen to me, right? That's not what God wants us to do. But no, he was passive. They ate the apple, and then the fall happened, and now here we are. But anyway, beyond all that, guys, the real problem in society these days is fathers. Fathers not being present in the homes or being there but not being there, right? Not actually, they're, they're there in the homes, but they're not present. They're not there for their kids, their daughters, their sons. And the biggest thing about this channel is men of action. That's what we call this, right? This is a men's channel, really. I appreciate all the women in here, too. And if you have young sons, maybe you can teach them some of these things that we speak on in here or whatnot. But um, look, guys, I had the same problem, right? No one ever told me what it was to truly be a man, what that truly means. And the problem is, is... All throughout society, all throughout history, there has been initiations into manhood. Just look it up, guys. All throughout society, all throughout history, 12, 13, 14 years old, boys are taken away from their homes, out. They go with men, with other men from their community, from their society, and they teach them what it is to be a man. A lot of times they're by themselves for days, if not weeks and months. But at some point, the boy has to be able to get away from his mother, right? You got to get away from that. You got to step out in the real world. You got to realize some things about life. But that's why the male initiations come into such effect, guys. And that's the problem with our society. We don't have these. There are starting to be ones popping up around the around this country. I mean, there's a lot of guys on YouTube here, different channels that do some of these men's account, uh, these uh, initiations, if you will. The only problem is I believe they cost a lot of money. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% on that. But it needs to be free. And we need to have this in every community in every town. But since we don't, it's on us, the men, as it always is anyway, to do what we can. So what does that mean? Even if you're not a father, you might be a cousin, you might be an uncle. Hell, just be a mentor for, to the kids in your neighborhood, the coaches, right? Things like that. We got to teach these boys. We have to teach them what it is to be a man. And what does that mean? And this is what you need to tell them, and, and, and not only tell them, but you show them by your actions, right? Men of action. That is what this channel is called, men of action. Going out and taking action, not just talking about this shit, going out and actually doing it. Going out in the community, being the coaches for the teams, right? Being a part of the churches, be, doing service work, right? This is what this is about, serving others. Because a man, a true man, is selfless. They know it's not about them. And the thing about initiations and the good thing about initiations is they teach you five things. And these are the five things that a male initiation should teach you. Or it, it doesn't. It's not one, really. One, you need to come to terms with these. All men need to. Life is hard. It's hard. Life is struggle. Life's going to be hard. So get used to it. But life is also beautiful, right? There's two sides to every coin, right? To an up, there's got to be a down. Black, there's got to be white. To light, there's got to be darkness. Things like that, right? Number two, you are not that important, right? You are not that important. But on the other flip side of it, you are that important, especially to your family and your community. 
especially to your family and to your kids. You're everything. You are everything, right? Number three, your life is not about you. I always say that on here. It's not about what you do. It's about what you do for others. And that's what it comes down to, right? Number four, you are not in control. Life happens. Life on life terms, as we say it, right? Life just happens. We put a story behind it. The only thing you have one control over, one thing and one thing alone. And that is how you react to a situation. And that is it. We cannot control what happens in life. We cannot control what other people do to us, what situations occur. But what we do have control over is how we react. And that is it, gentlemen. All right. And the last one and number five, the biggest one of all, you're going to die. You're not going to make it out alive, right? It's a fact of life. So these are five things that all young men really need to come to terms with in the initiation process and realize those five things. And that's a big part of this channel. And that's what the men's accountability group we, I do. This is what we talk about on here, guys. This is what we do, right? Because at the beginning of the men's accountability group, when we first started it, I said to all these men, right? And every time we go in there, how many of you, your fathers told you exactly what it is to be a man and what it means literally to be a man? And, and everyone basically said, no, I mean, no, maybe a little bit here, a little bit there. You know, you've seen your dad do certain things, but not literally sat them down and told them these things and showed them these things. And you're showing them by action, but you also want to speak it and tell them, right? So, and you know, a big part of that is too, is that you live, a man, a man lives for a cause bigger than themselves. Like we said, it's not about you. It's what you do for others. Selflessness, gentlemen, selflessness. I don't know how to say this more. Boys get, they want things. Men give. That's the difference, right? It's like the same thing as being a leader. A man is a leader, right? A leader is not worried about himself. He's worried about the better men of the community, the better men of the group. He's trying to bring everyone else to their highest level. That's what a leader does, an actual leader. Right? Most people, like we said on here before many times, most people in the communities and these places aren't actual leaders. They're just motherfuckers in charge. Trust me. Believe that. Most people are not leaders. They're just people in charge. And I've, I've been guilty of that as well. I'm not going to act like I'm perfect on here, guys. And I'm like, you guys should look at me as everything. But that's my goal, right, is when I'm on here talking this shit is that I got to be on my P's and Q's every day because I'm on here running my mouth about things. Am I living up to it? Am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? That's what I, this is for myself too. This is why I have to hold myself accountable every day. But I'm not perfect, right? Progress, not perfection. We're not going to be perfect. None of us are. And another thing, guys, and the biggest thing in society too is I believe is that we need Jesus, man. We need Jesus back in society. We need to be talking about Jesus. We need to be showing our sons that is who you live up to, right? That should be your idol, that's the only one. Who do you want to be like? You want to be like Jesus. That's it. Nobody else. And I believe that that is the biggest reason society. Guys, that is the only way to heaven. It's the only way to get there. Read the Bible, right? We talk about all these other books on here. The number one book, the only book you really need is the Bible. You know, study and go over it, right? It's God created from it. It talks about being a man there. It says be a man. And literally, look it up. God put us here for a reason, to be men. Let's be that. Society, like we talk about, society doesn't want us to be men. The government, probably YouTube, TikTok, all these fuckers, they don't want us to be men. They don't want us to be the head of the family. They don't want the families together, right? Because then they can control us. That's why it's all on us men. It's always been on us. It's our fucking duty to do these things, gentlemen. It's our duty so let's step up. Me too. I got work to do. We're working every day. But we got to put into work every day. And that's what makes you, that's how you don't have depression and things like that is when you get up and you put into work. First, you got to get yourself right, right? So every morning when we get up, for myself, my daily routine, I get up, I thank my creator, I thank God for another day. Thank you, God, for allowing me to be here to do what I need to do and let me do your will, right? Show gratitude. Then delay the gratification. We get right to the workouts, right? Brush our fangs, get right, put on our go fasters, get right to these workouts, get it done. Hop in the shower, get out, meditate and read, right? Meditate on, at, read and then meditate. Read and then I usually meditate on what I've read, what I've been thinking about. 
and try to let that go, try to let a lot of stuff go, and even just mindfulness meditation, let everything go. But put in the work, gentlemen, men of action, right? Not men of talk, men of action. That means going out and doing it, stepping up. It's our duty, I promise you. All right, and it's, I mean, that's just, that's the way it is, guys. We have a, we got a long, we got a lot of work to do, but we can change society. That is what's wrong, man. Lost boys run around. That's why young men yearn for, that's why young men go in gangs. Um, they're always trying to find validation if I'm a man through doing different acts, fighting. Um, ooh, a girl tell me like, you know, just different ways. We're always looking for validation. Am I a man? Am I a man? Well, if you went through this male initiation, if you went through a male initiation and the men in your community took you through this process and you come out off the way, other side, you wouldn't have to worry. You'd know you're a man because you're part of the group now, right? And that's why these initiations are so important. I'm hoping to start one here soon. My son is 12 years old. I am gonna be taking him some, through some type of initiation this summer myself. The only thing is I'm his father, so I can't personally really take him through that initiation process. It's gotta be other men. So you find other men in the community and at the end you come together. But that's what it's about, guys. I really highly suggest you look up about male initiations um, I take this very seriously. Trust me. I've been a lost boy myself. When I got out of the Marine Corps, I had no purpose in my life. Turned to drugs, alcohol, all that, you know what I mean? A lot of guys turn to porn, uh, video games, just numbing out in any way you can. And that's because you have no purpose in your life. That's why men go through midlife crisis, right? When they're 50, 60 years old, you get done working, your kids are out of the house. Now what? Now what? If you had purpose in your life, serving others in some capacity, whether it's like, like I said, coaching teams, Maybe you like uh, working with animals. Maybe you like going in the community and cleaning up, right? I mean, it, the sky's the limit. But if you have some type of service work, something that's bigger than yourself that you're living for and working for, you're not going to have most of these problems, guys, right? You're not. I mean, we all get depressed. We all get down. We have good times. We have bad times. But I promise you, when you find purpose, it changes everything. Purpose, service, gratitude. Delay that gratification. That's what it's all about, gentlemen. All right. That's what this uh, channel is really was really started for. Yes, I do these workouts on here, but I am very passionate about this men's accountability group and uh, a men's movement, man. That's what we're doing, man. A men's movement over here. So come be a part of it and step up to the call. Step up to the duty. Right. We're fathers. If you're a father, especially, look, we have the privilege of being a father. That God, that is the name God bestowed for Himself, Father. And we get that. How lucky are we? How lucky am I? How lucky are you? Right? Our kids need us more than ever. More than ever. How does a boy learn to be a man without a father, without a man showing him how to be a man? How does a daughter, a, a woman, know what type of man to marry without a man in their life? Right? Kind, compassionate, caring. Right? And, uh, and, and the way you show your boys and your daughters on how a man is supposed to be around a woman, it's very simple, guys. It is very freaking simple. First off, you got to have self-control. You got to have temperance, right? Temperance, self-control, very big. But you also have to love, honor, and respect their mothers. And the, mo the biggest thing for your children, if you're a father and you're in the home with their mother, is that they know that you love their mother that you love their mother, that you honor and respect her, and that you lead her courageously, and you do what's right for your family and your, for your, your community. And don't beat yourself up too bad. We're going to fucking stumble. We're going to fall. Let's pick ourselves back up, and let's get back on it, man. We're all sinners, right? We all have shortcomings. We all have defects. It's about being open and honest about that, right? Open and honest. Be that man. Be that man that I know you all can be. Well, let's do it together and let's change this motherfucking world. But first we got to, you know how you change the world is by changing yourself. So let's put in that work, gentlemen. Let's put in that work. All right. I hope you guys have a great motherfucking day, baby. Let's go. It's motherfucking Wednesday. It's men's accountability group time here in Cincinnati. So if you live in the Cincinnati area and you want to be a part of our men's accountability group, we would love to have you. If you want any more information about a men's accountability group and starting one in your neighborhood, Hit me up. I would love to help you out, man. I would love to help you guys out, man. The shit is free. All right? Just like the workouts, baby. Just like everything we do, man. We're all here to help motivate and inspire and lift you guys. I've been down. I've been out too. I've almost given up too, guys. All right?
We're in this together. You're not alone. I love you. Trust me. And if I love you, just imagine how much God loves you. And when he created you, he said, that's good enough, baby. So you're good enough. Just be that and be a man of action today. All right, guys? I appreciate the love. Appreciate the support. Cheers. Now go get you some, baby. Ah, peace, guys.